Hey, good morning. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, injuries and how to deal with injuries in your working workout program. Um, I have a little bit of background um, when you may or may not know uh, my first career actually right out of high school I was a professional ballet dancer and so a lot of ballet actually is how you're able to kind of keep yourself going. We deal with a lot of injuries, sometimes muscle related, sometimes bone related, and we did a lot of uh, kind of maintaining, or it's really maintenance, like how can you keep going, keep practicing, keep performing while um, being injured. So learned a lot about um, the body and muscles and kind of how to keep yourself going and deal with uh, some injuries. Um, so personal story, about two weeks ago we were working on front squats and um, you know I was working on technique, wanted to get a little faster out of the bottom and just felt my hip flexor really crunch up um, and unfortunately it's something um, that I'm still dealing with. So I initially for the first week um, started out with some ice, so wanting to get the inflammation down in my hip and um, started with the ice, it's great, it's a pain in the neck, I'm always great like the first day, second day. After that I trail off, but really um, keeping it iced down is really, really important. Um, and then the second thing I did right out of the box was um, get some anti-inflammatory in my system, so just some Advil um, taken pretty regularly. Take it right after the injury, it's gonna just, you know, it'll be a momentary um, relief, but if you get it in your system, it'll really help uh, work on that inflammation. So that's what I personally do. And then after that, um, I just really focus a lot on stretching. So wanting to keep the area super mobile, um, not pushing it, not violent stretching, nice and gentle, working into the area, um, and also the surrounding areas. So I'm rolling out my thighs from my hip flexor, working on stretching out the hips, running stretch on the ground, literally the stretch out the front of that hip flexor and then some glute stretches and lower back. So um, picking my knees up to my chest, turning side to side, you know, you're on your back, you have your arms out to the side and you just move those hips and knees from side to side to really keep that back loose and a uh, little bit of the glutes there. Um, something that I just thought of that I didn't do, I wish I had right away, um, was get onto YouTube. There's a site called Mobility Wad um, and a guy who really has some awesome videos out there um, that you can access on YouTube for free um, about mobility and stretching um, and can really give us some great guidance on um, specific muscle groups and sites and how to work them out. So that could be um, a good resource for you. I know some people um, at the gym subscribe to Mobility Wad, but like I said, I found um, some great things even just this morning um, that I'm going to look up there stretching, also using, um, he uses like a little uh, lacrosse ball. Bill and I talked about it for a different hip thing I was going through, but just getting that ball to kind of work into the muscle and release um, some of the uh, pain in there. So that could be a really great resource for you. Um, also wanted to just make sure you're keeping the communication open with your coaches. So no one wants to be injured. You know, we don't want to be out. We don't want to show that sign of weakness, but the coaches can do a really great job at either um, modifying a workout for you um, or focusing you on a different muscle group. So if the wad had squats in it or the other day um, I was, I think the wad had uh, lots of wall balls. And getting into that squat and, you know, exploding out of the bottom of that squat really was not going to be good for me. Um, so Joe modified it to kettlebell swings. So they can definitely do that. Um, and I would really, really advise so that they really know what you're dealing with. Um, you don't need to keep it a secret. Um, and then sometimes, you know, the body, we really don't want to think about it. But, and for me personally... I think my body needs a little bit of rest. So even for me, those kettlebell swings, we're using the hips, firing a lot, um, even to get out of the bottom of that, um, you know, mini squat that we do when we're thrusting the kettlebell up and we're using those hips a lot. Um, so even that was a little too much. I think I'm just gonna give my body a little bit of rest. Um, 
I really don't want to do that. CrossFit is one of the biggest highlights of my day and um, I don't want to be without it. But again, I'm focusing on the long haul here. I am not training for anything deadline specific. Um, so I can take a week, rest up, get the inflammation down. Hopefully um, I'll come back, I'll post another video. Hopefully all of the advice and a little bit of rest um, really worked out and my hip is ready to go and I'm ready to get back into my training. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. Ice Advil, get the inflammation down, nice stretching, some mobility wad could be great. Work with your coaches, partner with them. They're here to help um, and can really uh, keep you working out potentially. And then um, don't be afraid to rest if your body needs it and is telling you that uh, it needs a little break. So that's what I'm doing and hopefully uh, you guys will stay nice and healthy and stretched out and keep your workouts going. Okay, take care.